Today on Moving Day, the Murrays move up market to enjoy a whole new life in a large house complete with swimming pool and snooker table. We're looking forward to barbecues in the garden and, and that kind of thing. Hi there, welcome to Moving Day. Today we're in Mansfield in Nottinghamshire to meet the Murray family. And in just four days' time, they'll be moving from a four-bedroom detached house. To another four-bedroom detached house that's over 90 miles away. But get this, they have their very own swimming pool and a full-size snooker table. Meet the Murrays. Mum Sonia was born and bred in Nottinghamshire. She spends most of her time looking after Oliver 2 and Jasmine 5. Dad Rob is an accountant who commutes an amazing four and a half hours every day to and from Cambridgeshire. Which is why they're upping sticks and moving south. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Rob. Hi, Sonia. Hi. Hi. Come on through. The girls Excellent. Can upstairs, make sure you're all packed to go. Yeah, help yourself. Thank you. While Gavin checks out how prepared the family are, Rob's telling me about his hellish commute, the main reason for moving. I mean, for example, yesterday I spent two and a half hours getting down to, to work in the morning and it, because the A1 was, there were problems on the A1, it took me four hours to get home. And that isn't very sustainable oh. for very long, really, what as you, you can sustainable imagine. sustainable for very long? That's a polite guy. absolutely nuts. That's like six well, and a half hours. You were in a bad mood when you got home. I was in a pretty bad mood. And it's, and it, and it, but that's not every day, but when that happens, you know, it means I don't spend any time with the kids I and know. have any time to myself, really. And so we need to kind of move closer. Now, I know the Murray's house is a four-bedroom house, so let's just see how they're getting on. Lots of built-in wardrobes here, which means lots of clothes, and they're all still in there all the way along. But something like this is really easy to move because they're all on hangers, so you get your garment boxes, the professional movers' garment boxes. You can just load everything in. take about half an hour to empty this room, so it's not a problem so far. The spare room's a great room as a staging area because you can start to pack up a lot of stuff you won't be needing a couple of weeks in advance and get it all ready. For instance, kids' toys, kids' toys, kids' toys. I see a pattern developing. And uh, the essentials in this one, bunny ears, you need them ready for the move. And, of course, fairy wings, just the essentials. Now, I think I can hear the children next door, so I'll see how they're getting on in their rooms. Hello. Hello, Jasmine. How are you? Hello, Oliver. How are you? Dad. Is this your slide? Dad. My slide. It's your side. This is your bedroom, then. It's not Oliver's bedroom, is it? Oliver's bedroom's in that way. It's that way. I'll go and have a look at that one in a moment. Now, have you been helping Mummy and Daddy with the packing, Jasmine? Them. No. Ow. Are you both excited about this move? We are, yeah, aren't we? Because it's a chance to start again and put our own mark on another another house, isn't it? So yeah. it'd be really nice to move. Are you embarrassed about telling your friends that you're moving to the house with a swimming pool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very, but then but then we do expect them all to come round and visit during the summer or so and play with the kids in the pool, so it's not so bad. It's a whole new chapter yeah. in your lives. Yeah, we love moving, really. You love moving. It comes to trouble. We haven't done very much, is it? Uh, nothing's, really? yet, nothing's packed yet, but you have got the full packing thing, so I'm not too worried. I've had a quick look round. It's not too bad. Yeah, they get the whole deluxe packing thing. Is that your um, office next door? Then? It is, and I'm afraid, yeah. You haven't done much in there, have no, you? No, not really. Sorry. Yeah, you're looking a bit guilty about the office. <laughs> Stuff all over the place. Sorry. I take great delight in the fact that as an accountant, you have a messy study. I want to get in there and help you tidy it up. Come on, then. Come on, then. Take me through there. <laughs> Shall we just have another one around right, the house, then, yeah. my dear? <laughs> <laughs> you. Thank you. Rob, I knew you were pretty brainy, the fact that you're an accountant, but I didn't realise you went to Cambridge University. Check it out. Yeah, well, thanks for showing the picture of the uh, huge glasses. Since, since then, I've had my eyes laser eye surgery. <laughs> so. <laughs> Classic. So this is your little place where you hide out, your little den. Yeah, we've done a little bit of tidying up because of, in anticipation of moving, mm. but we do have a habit of receiving... Um, posts and just sticking it on the pile and the piles get bigger and bigger. This one here is the moving piles, you can see. Because it's is, really important huge. to put them into, into either box files or have them ready in, in paper file type things so that, you know, folders, so that on the day of the move that you have them in your car or somewhere that's not going to go onto a lorry. Yeah, this is my rather feeble attempt at, at doing that so far, really. But at least he's got the files for the job. Time for some straightforward organisation. A good idea is to break it down into three areas. One for pending bills.
bills, one for manuals and guarantees, and finally, all the paperwork that needs to be handed over to the new owners. Meanwhile, outside, Gavin and Sonia are being battered by the wind. It's very nice to live here and it's lovely for the kids because they get to walk in the woods and things. Are you from this area originally? I am, yes. My parents live about 15 minutes away. Are you going to miss it? Are you going to miss the I area? Am. I'm going to miss it a lot. Uh, I've made some really good friends here. Uh, I'm going to miss mum and dad as well. Um, the kids are going to miss their friends that they've made. Someone who looks like uh, they you. Hello oh, there. Hello. hello. Is this introduce me? Hi, Miss Andre. Hello, Sonia. Whoa! <laughs> How are you doing? It's a bit windy here, isn't it? It's very windy. Apparently, it's just like this in Cambridge as well. We've got the oh, gateway we'll to the thing. Right, it's going to be gusting and stuff. Now, are you going to miss each other? We will, yes. yeah. definitely. I can, see, I can see that you're good yeah, friends. You're obviously yeah. going to keep in touch. Definitely. And you've got a spare room when you get down there as Absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. Spare room. Too, yep. so. Don't forget your swimming gear. I know. You've got I a pool. <laughs> Back in the study, I'm getting Rob to sort out all his personal papers. Now, do make sure you remember to destroy any confidential information, like PIN numbers and passwords. Ooh! Shredding, look at your face, Rob. Shredding all Rob's confidential information. There we go, almost done, Rob. And look at my beautiful boxes over here, Paul and Pam, that's the new people coming in, the pending file, the manuals, stuff from the drawer of clutter. Two more pages to go, and actually, Rob, it's been good teamwork in here today, hasn't it? It has. That's it, and one more thing left to shred. Rob, that is so not flattering. Can we put that in the shredder we as well? Can. Now, one of the jobs that Sonia's asked me to do is to get the swing ready for the big move, which just involves flat packing it, so it's a lot smaller and it will fit in the van ears. If you put it in like this, it'll take up too much room. So. I found myself on a magical mystery tour in downtown Mansfield with the whole family at a hairdresser's. Sonia, I mean, it's only four days before you move house. What on earth are you doing here in the hairdressing <laughs> salon? I'm sure there's plenty of things you'd be doing back at home, packing and everything. Oh, definitely. There's always things to do, but um, the thing is, when you move, um, everybody needs a haircut in anyway, and when you move, it's always difficult to find new hairdressers and things like that, so that's why I've booked everybody in so that um, we don't have to worry about it when we move. We do want to impress the neighbours. Well, you know, that is an important thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> Once you arrive, they'll be thinking, who are these new people moving to this gorgeous house? <laughs> oh, dear. And how do you intend to sort of crack the neighbourhood in terms of making new friends? Um, it'll be through school. So, yeah. So uh, hopefully the, the mums will want to talk to me. But what about the people in the immediate area? Are you going to sort of pop round and say, hi, we're the Murrays, we've moved in. Fancy haircuts and all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll probably wait till they're out in the gardens or something and then talk to them. Sonia's much happier now. They're all clipped, snipped and trimmed. But there's still so much to do. So what do you reckon? Good move, bad move? Reservations. Poor Sonia's got to leave where she grew up, put all her mates and move down the road. Yeah, but think about it. Location is key. The whole point of this move is because poor Rob has to spend four and a half hours on average every day in his car. Yeah, but I've still got reservations about Sonia. Three words, Gav. Get over it. It's the day before the move. Sonia and Rob have paid for a full packing service to make things easier. Or so they thought. I thought I was organised until I came back from school and everybody was here and, and there's still things lying around everywhere. So. There you go. OK, taking out the surround sound cables here at the minute. It's um, a nice grey wire, as you can see, on the white skirting board. A bone of contention for ages with Sonia. So no doubt it will be some time before I'm allowed to do this again in the new house and after I bought some white cable. I'd like to think that, well, to be honest, I don't want people talking about me behind my back saying I live in a dirty house. And I'd like to think that everybody's cleaned their house as well before, before they moved out. So, you know, whether or not it works like that. I know it doesn't from past experiences, but I couldn't leave a dirty house. It's just not me. Oliver and Jasmine are going off to Granny's for a week, so they're safely out of the way for the move. Say goodbye to the room. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> they seem to have no problem at all saying goodbye to their old house. It's important to allow children this opportunity. 
So off the kids go to Granny's. Time to get on with the grown-up business of packing, cleaning and loading. The van fully packed, it's off to be stored for the night. I guess I'm slightly nervous that kind of six people have packed up our entire house, put it into boxes and have just taken it away. And um, that feels like I'm kind of completely out of control of what's going on. Something that I've always done is tried to leave my house nice and neat and tidy. Something that my mum would be proud of. <laughs> I think we're both very stressed at the moment and we're looking forward to having a less stressful summer and, um, and we're looking forward to barbecues in the garden and, and that kind of thing. So. Coming up... What is that? Out. There's a surprise on the doorstep. The pool looks good, doesn't it? And there's a lot more cleaning ahead for the Murrays. So this is it. It's moving day for the Murrays. And they set off nice and early from Nottinghamshire this morning to make their way down to here, Cambridgeshire. And they're all set to move into this. A four-bedroom house that comes complete with a full-size snooker table and a swimming pool, no less. Sal, I'm really excited. I just want to get in and have a look around now. Let's get Rob and Sonia. Let's get them into their new house. Come on. Check it out. Rob and Sonia sold their four-bed house in Nottinghamshire for £230,000. And they've moved over 90 miles to Cambridgeshire to a £330,000 detached family home, which includes all kinds of extra goodies, a piano, a dining table and a full-size snooker table. Hello! Hello. Having packed up the previous day, they've driven down this morning, picking the keys up en route. Was it an awful journey or was it OK? Not too bad, actually. Steady. Yeah. Steady. Important yes. question. Have you got the keys? Steady six miles an hour. Who has got the keys? Rob, it's in them. his fleece. I have the keys. We're in. Leave Come away, on, let's go. do it. What is that? Out. Shall we get rid of that for you? Yes, I think please. that's There should be a number that Skip will give them the phone and tell yeah. them to get it out of here. I'll ask them nicely and if that doesn't work, we'll get Sally on the phone. Right, this is it, the big moment. Oh, let's go, Rob. That's the key. Yes, it does. Beautiful. Right away. Beautiful. Way. Excellent. Off you guys. In you go. Oh, it's lovely and big in here, isn't it? Nice. First port of pool, the dining room. Look out there, we can see the pool. This is great. Mm. I guess this is the lounge. It's nice and big. This is nice, yeah. Nice. It all seems hunky dory, but on closer inspection, things aren't quite as clean as they look. Retired shall we? <laughs> and check out the Perhaps pavilion. Sweet sherry. Isn't that beautiful? Look at your pavilion at the end. You have got a great view. The pool exactly. looks good, doesn't it? Nice. <laughs> wow, look at this. Yeah. Your very own snooker <clears throat> room. I like this. Oh, wicked. Look at that fantastic light. It's like great. <laughs> so look at it. Let's feel it. Let's know it. Let's love it. <laughs> I'm known as the green based vampire. I feel that this is in better condition than your carpets. <laughs> <laughs> What, it's cleaner. Yeah, it is. It's cleaner, that's it for sure. It is cleaner, isn't it? <laughs> well, what do you reckon? Is this going to be a big uh, family thing to do together? No, it's going. It's going, and we're going what? to turn this room into a playroom instead for the kids, because we think uh, the, uh, the, kid, the kids the kids will get a better yeah. enjoyment out of it. Really are you well, absolutely right? sure you want to get rid of this? Yeah. Well, not really, The kids no. are <laughs> the top off. <laughs> With the cues. While Sonia and Sally inspect the upstairs, Rob and I check out the pool. Whoa. Oh, my God. That looks more like a puddle in the pool to me. That looks like it hasn't been used for some time, I think. <coughs> I wouldn't drink out of it, put it that way. <laughs> Obviously, the pool is filthy and needs to be completely clean. But once that's done, the upkeep shouldn't take more than half an hour a week and cost you around 200 to £250 pounds a year. And I've discovered something nasty in the bedroom carpet. There's loads of dog hair in here. Yeah. I mean, look at all that. It's, and you can really smell it as well. And there's two things when it comes to dog hairs. One is the fact that the dog hairs get wound into the carpet and they're really difficult to get out. Yeah. And secondly, there's got to be the smell. There is nothing worse than the smell of dogs. Yeah. It can go forever, you know, unless you open windows and things. But good news, I've got a little trick up my sleeve that will alleviate this problem completely. What we have here is bicarbonate of soda. And the plan is that one sprinkles evenly around the room and what it does, it literally sucks up the smell of dog hairs. This takes an hour or so to work, giving us the chance to inspect the kitchen. Now, the blue kitchen. Mm. 
Blue fitments. Very blue. Yep. It's good. We're going to paint it then. Look at this face of disgruntledness. What's going through your mind? <laughs> um, just the state of the house. Um, I can't believe that anybody would leave it like it is. I mean, I spent all day yesterday cleaning the old house and... I mean, to me, the, the people that are moving in can just move straight in. They don't have to do any cleaning, but no doubt they'll want to. Uh, but here, it, it just seems like a mammoth task. <laughs> Rome was not built in a day. That's what they say. <laughs> no. Outside, the removal vans arrive right on time. But there's a problem. The skip is still in the way. I'd better get on the blower. Hi there, yes, um, good morning. It's Gavin Lowe here from Moving Day. Yes, um, I'm just phoning because we've, we've just pulled up to a house and uh, we've got one of your skips on the driveway. I've got the number off the side of it. Yeah, that's right. Are you due to collect it today anyway? Yeah, that's correct. Um, well, really, we could do with it being moved in any time in the next kind of four or five minutes. No. OK, within, within the hour. How about half an hour? Half an hour, then. OK, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for your help. Bye. Half an hour, let's see if he turns up. So there's just enough time for a break. I've also invited Tom to pay Rob a visit. He's a local auctioneer and he's here to give a bit of advice on how much the snooker table might fetch. I do like it, but uh, why do you want to get rid of it? Well, we want to... Um, I'd love to keep this. I, say, I would love to keep this. <laughs> That's with one shot. <laughs> one shot. With one shot, love I'd love it. to keep it, but... Is the wife in here in distance? No, she's not. Yeah, but the, right. um, the room will be better utilised as a playroom for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you want us to break it down, move it away, set it back up in the auction and sell it? No, we want to know how much it's worth. Uh, you want to know how much it's worth, worth. Oh. yeah, yeah. Because if you, if you offer something silly... 15 grand at least, I would have thought, for something you, like Ah, I think we've got the noughts in the wrong place. <laughs> I would like uh, to see it make £1,500, but to be realistic, you've got to look at your market, where you're going to throw it to, the people that have actually got room to put it in. Even this room is not big enough. My gut instinct is that we should let it go for that, yeah. But I'll, uh, I need to talk to Sonia, because she's the money man. And I thought you were the accountant, Rob. So, one hour has passed, and my bicarbonate of soda has been working its magic, and already the room has neutralised. This is good news. Now, check it out. This is no ordinary vacuum cleaner. It's called an animal, because it sucks up all the dog hair. So here we go. It's phase two of animal dog hair. In no time at all, the job is done. Fresh and clean with not a dog hair in sight. And the skip firm has turned up to clear the drive, so the removal lads can finally crack on. Our cushions are off along one side. It's just a case of taking the pockets out, and these have got little rebated bits of aluminium, that's cast aluminium inside there, covered with leather, and they just pop on the inside. So once you've got them out, it's then time to take this off. There's five of these. Each of them weighs a lot, about 100 kilograms, which is 15 and a half stone, which, believe it or not, is more than me. Fragile items are the first to be put out, but the unpacking is soon stopped. Sonia calls a dramatic halt to the proceedings. She's not happy. I've asked them not to unpack okay. because it's just so dirty. I just want to clean first before everything comes out. You're not happy about this cleanliness no. thing, are you? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things. I mean, I personally wouldn't leave a house like that. And mm. you said you spent a lot of time cleaning yours before yeah. the new people moved into that. Yeah. But it's, it's kind of had a knock-on effect. It's held you up massively, hasn't it? Hopefully everything will be fine in the boxes. Never mind, it's going to be all right. <laughs> so the removal men head off, and being kind souls, they didn't include any unpacking in the final bill. It's been a tough old day for Rob and Sonia, but hopefully our housewarming gift will put a smile on their faces and help them think of those lazy poolside days ahead. We have a surprise for you to cheer you up after oh. such a tough day. Gavin, the big reveal. Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> Get excited. 
Oh, thank you very that's much. That's lovely. It's lovely cute. for the garden. Octagonal. Excellent. Picnic <laughs> table and benches. And wait for this. P.S. Resistance, oh. Gavin, I need your help. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look how heavy yes. this is. <laughs> Coming thank you. Through. That's going to go in there, and it's a beautiful, beautiful parasol. For the outdoor life, you've got Excellent. the pool, you've got the terrace, <laughs> you've got the sunroom. <laughs> All we need is the sun. Isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. It's been such a dewy day, but you know, in a few months' time, you can just imagine this will be South Fork. It will be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's one of your best ever. Cheers. Welcome Congratulations. to your new home. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Well done, Rob and Sonia. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Sal still hasn't kissed me. No, I don't think so. Well, in that case, that's it from Cambridge to here on Moving Day today. If you have any trouble with your moving, why not check out our website? It's itv.com slash moving day. But from me, from Gavin, from Sonia and from Rob, a fond farewell from Cambridgeshire. See you soon. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Since moving day, it's taken a week to clean the house to Sonia's exacting standards and they're now happily settled in.